Hey, okay, so I'm taking you guys around my kitchen to show you a few things that I use. This right here, the, I guess electric skillet or whatever, uh, but this is the Wolfgang Puck. We do a lot in this one. Um, you can pour the grease off. We can do steaks. We can do whatever we like. This is convenient for Frederick and I, like being at home in the house. So you have that one. <laughs> I had to dig this one out. This is an indoor grill, all right? It uses actually wood chips. You can only do this if your vent vents out of the house. If you have a vent that vents and pushes it back over in your room, don't you can't do don't do this. Like like a lot of those uh, microwave vents. Yeah. Right? That it just it it'll, it'll into the room. Right. It'll get rid of it from here, but it just pushed it over there. Right. But this will actually vent outside, and I'm thinking that I'm gonna try this for a reverse sear for Frederick and I. I have not used this since we've been carnivore. Okay. So let's go to this side so I can show you. None of y'all talk about this, but this is my favorite. And it's not the air fryer. So I see so many people, so many recipes and everything for the air fryer. The only reason why I got this air fryer is because I gave my goddaughter the other one. And this had a B on it. And that stands for brown in my house. So um, you could do a lot of things with this. This right here. I'm in love with this. And here's why. You can take, and you could, and then some comments gonna say, you can do the same thing over in there. But this infrared cooking, this uh, new wave oven, I've had, I've had to replace parts. That's another thing I like about it is because if something messes up, if this cracks, you can just order that from this uh, company. <laughs> but I go on Marketplace because people don't use these. I buy them brand new for $35. And so I actually have extra parts. To replace this glass alone, I think it's $25. So for $35, I can get the whole machine. But this cooking, uh, it has a reheat on it. And when I say to you, well, back when the other food we would eat, pizza, I would actually... Uh, wet the bottom, put it in here, that four minutes, tastes just like it came out of the oven. You fry some chicken or anything, put it in here, it tastes just like you just finished cooking it. The reheat mechanism on this is phenomenal. Now you could take a steak from frozen, you can season it, and depends on how thick the steak is, but on average, if you put it on cook for 17 minutes, it'll come from the frozen steak, and it'll be uh, perfect. So what, yeah, I, I, I did um, mention something about that. I knew you did it, and I forgot what you used what I to used do it. And I mentioned way. it the other day when I was cutting the steaks. Yeah, and, and let me tell you just how much I don't use a microwave. There's no microwave in my kitchen. So a lot of times people, you know, you have the microwave over your hood. There isn't a microwave in the kitchen. Why? When my oldest daughter got sick, one of the first things they stopped us from using was the microwave because they didn't know what was going on. But think of this, as a new mom, they always tell you never put your breast milk in the microwave. So I feel they know something about the microwave. But in my kitchen, it is the new wave, honey. And I try and tell people, it's like, oh my God, Out of all of these appliances, I would keep the refrigerator in the new way. I have a surprise for you. We are doing two items today. First, let me just tell y'all this. This is the pink Himalayan salt, but that's not what's in it. Why did they give me a salt thing like this? And all I did was put in real salt and I got a cool shaker now. <laughs> <laughs> this is real soft, so that's just like, that's perfect. Because I was looking, I said, oh, I need, because you know it come in the bag. Bam. We need to remove that label. 
No, because pink Himalayan salt is still fine as well. And it's us. Anybody else, it is what it is. Okay, so I have the solid white albacore and water. I've already opened and drained it. I'm putting it in here. This is going to be like, uh, well, for me, it's like salmon croquette. All right. But wait a minute. What are you making? I am. I'm doing uh, little tuna patties okay. like salmon croquette. Gotcha. Uh, the difference is I used to put onions and and uh, breadcrumb or crackers, that type stuff. But this time we won't have that. And last time I made these, I actually uh, put in pork rind. But I'm not going to do that because the pork rind, to me, really over-flavored the uh, uh, tuna. This is my little bag right here for trash, so I ain't got to go over there. Now, 7328, 7327, can't add, hamburger meat, right? I'm going to start just with one pack because I really think this is going to be enough. Now, G, what are you making? I am doing the hamburger patties. I have the Kraft extra sharp cheese. I will grate some and chop little cubes. I'm gonna show you because see, uh, somebody did a little short and I saw them do this tuna recipe, put a little cheese in it with the egg and baby. And what, now hot oil, I'm just saying. Did not look like tallow to me. But so but I'm using tallow. Alright. So I'm doing this down just a little bit. If you are cook, you know how to um, break up tuna. Alright. Oh, no, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now I really feel that this is gonna be enough. I'm only doing six. And I feel that once I add, because I am going to add egg to this. Uh, only one egg, though. Because when hamburger meat cooks up, it can kind of draw. I feel that the egg gives it a little. Oh, and I dressed up for y'all today since he cracked on me about being uh, looking homeless on the last video. Let me put this in the refrigerator. I didn't say homeless. I said well, I was at home. Homely. Homely, homeless. Okay. Or tell you got somebody tell crawling yep. out the bed. Yes. So <laughs> we have the baby grand leg. Well, not the baby next to the baby grand yeah. legacy. Uh huh. Got busted. Papa busted you. Oh. Uh -huh. It's nap time, and we're just trying to do it all. Okay, so I'm gonna add salt to the uh, burger. I'm gonna add a little salt even over here to the tuna. Salt just makes everything better. All right. So let me cut this open. And remember, I'm gonna grade cheese on both of these. Now, I'm glad you hung around to see the video. She think he over there playing. Now she just found out that it was, so that's her fussy. Girl, it's nap time. It's 12 o'clock, it's nap time. Don't you not tell time? So this is my little grater. I had to, I need the one from back in the day. That no matter what you did to it, it held up. All these little, boy, they just make things so cheaply now. Look at that. They just make stuff cheaply. But we're going to work with it. Uh, I recommend to leave your cheese in the refrigerator so it stays firm. And this little grater make, uh -oh, makes this stuff extremely fine. Let me show you how fine they are. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Which is good, so I won't have any big clumps except for the couple ones that I let no, no. drop on over in there. No. No. You, they, they just over there having a little moment. He being so tall. No, no, no. And she is like, yes, yes, yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> and she know how to get out of her little bed, right? She's something else. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, she mad. We are, I call my grandchildren legacies. 
So you will hear me say my grand legacy. Go, go night night. She mad with she you, mad. Papa. Now remember, after I do this, mm -hmm. I will have it. Uh, I don't know how to speed the thing up, y'all know. But so now I gotta get something in here too. Okay, that's not enough right there. So let me just see, because I'm going to cut that. Now, don't forget this cheese we use in cubes. And, oh, and I set my bacon outside because I forgot to take it out. Uh, I forgot to take it out. I ain't doing a whole lot. All right. This is what that looks like. And I put in salt already, and I'm just doing one egg. But when I crack my egg, I like to do it on, yeah, because for some reason, eggs just ain't like how they used to be when I was little. They just seem like they be popping everywhere. And y'all know, if y'all don't know, I don't like the umbilical cord. There, it just fell. So I take that little thing out. I don't care. Y'all say we eat it all. That thing right there just don't cook for me. All right, just one. And then majority of the time you see me, that's all we're doing is mixing it up. Majority of the time you see me uh, use gloves. I don't do that just for uh, recording. I Because we use such fatty meats, I have to have a glove. That it just seemed like um besides never having to use lotion. <laughs> yeah, she's still laying down. Never having to use lotion. That's just like too much. Alright, so let me just show you real quick how you really don't see the cheese. Alright. So get yourself a little oh uh, well, how about I cut the cheese up first? And in there, I have my soapy bleach water that I can utilize as well. Yeah, when I did this, I could have. And I'm not doing a lot in the center because, first of all, Mr. Don't like, ain't fond of a whole bunch of cheese if he wants to try that. She helping us with the show, y'all. See how big that is? That is it. That is it. All right. So I don't want these to be too, too big. Right? And I, I did salt, but you know what? Just a little more. You take that, place it on the inside, and then make your meatball. Now, I'm going to sit it in here, but it still has to get wrapped in bacon. But the bacon is still thawing out. I ain't fun with you. But you know what you can do? Check on the uh so this might only be five. I think I need to make these a little small. I think I need six. Cause I just don't want. Yeah. Cause I still gotta get that uh so now I'm gonna tell you. If you want me to eat some, make a couple without cheese. Oh, they got cheese in all of it. Cheese. It's yeah, cheese I did the little cheese on the thing. Yeah. But I have one 
No, it's cheese in that one too. I did them with cheese. No, but no, I no. can. You're making so many, you're not going to eat them all. This was for the people. Some well, the of them people are not going to eat them. They're going to stop by. Yeah, we got to make these smaller because I got to. Yeah. And let me tell you, the, 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 the biggest thing is making sure that you roll these because if you leave a little gap, once that cheese heat up, baby, it's going to squirt out. So, like, this right here had, like, a small little crack in it. That's where I'm going to pull from. She over there just chilling, waiting on her nene. They still look frozen. Now, look frozen or... I don't think you can wrap it. Oh, okay. We see you. gonna be my lunch today. I just really got a feeling in my spirit that this is this gonna be something else. Yeah. Yeah, he's not a alright, so bam. Now keep in mind we still gotta wrap that with bacon. Bowl is empty. Wash my hands. Because now we're getting ready to do the tuna. But I'm gonna add two eggs to it. You know that he's scared when he say, Papa gonna get you, and he just sit there and look at you. So, any of you guys are grandparents and have those wonderful legacies. Now, I added some salt, but I'm just do just a little more. And I'm doing two eggs this time. Baby, I go through paper towels and foil. I do, <coughs> excuse me. I do the foil uh, uh, sheets. See that little thing right there? Mm. And this one got one on the other side. I'm just. I don't know. I ain't been eating that since I was a kid. It's just something about it. No, what it was is that I fixed something. And when I did that, that little string, oh, why did that happen? And from that point on, I did not fool because these cook just like they are stringy. Okay, that's all we had to do. And I, the reason I did a couple of eggs is because that there's no cracker, there's none of that, and that's gonna help with the holding together frying purposes. And once again, if you watch my video where I fried the chicken, you can uh, use the crumbled up pork rinds. Let me just show you real quick the bag of pork rinds. When he comes over here, baby, just open that cabinet for me. And I show you the ones that I use. Just in case. Uh-uh. This one. Just in case you did not see that one. Yep. And when you read the ingredients and uh, gas station, look at that. And the ingredients say fried pork skin, salt. That's, that's all that's on it. And... If you poke a little hole, not for them to all shoot out. And I actually take another bag and put across it and roll it with a rolling pin. Get it to, do not, let me say it again, do not use your Nutribullet, okay? Uh, or at least do not grind it as hard as I did because that whole bag ended up making like one of these meatballs. All the oil that's in the, um, all the oil that's in the oven. And that's what we are working with. I was sharing with you guys. This is a foil sheet, right? 
I just put my paper towel in it. I fold up my little corners. Now, when my stuff come out, I got my thing. It's my organized drawer. The big sheets and the small sheets. You can't see it? Just a little bit. And all of my little products right there. Okay. So, when I was telling y'all before about the tallow, so, I got it on and then you don't need a lot for this. We ain't deep frying this. This is just a fry on the outside. We have this here and I have to stir it in regards to the egg because I don't have a cracker, uh, a binding agent, but this is gonna work just fine. Okay, so now the oil is heating up and I noticed with tallow that it seems, normally I have my stove at medium with vegetable oil and poof here it seems as if i have to turn it up just a little bit so i'll make a little patty but i'm not making them too big and palm, that, palm size yep right there and it's wet from the egg so hopefully y'all can still hear it Me between the bacon meatballs and these little tuna melts. That's what we we'll call it the tuna melt. We got our bacon. So, once again, I'm going to make sure that these are like really, really sealed because that inside cheese will squirt out. And now, and I like to pull mine. And all you're doing is turning with it. And it's up to you. You can use one piece of bacon, two pieces of bacon, but that's how I'm doing it. I'll lay it down on that end to hold it down. The oven just went off, <clears throat> letting me know that the oven is at 350. And how long you keep them in when the bacon looks like it is okay to you. That's, so that's about the best so, I can say. You're, so you're saying no, the hammer will cook? I'm thinking the hammer will cook would take longer than the bacon, wouldn't it? If the bacon looks done. So, I mean, if the bacon can be done in hamburger, no, 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 not with all this uh, fat and stuff like that. Maybe I'll try and time it and then let you know how long this particular batch went. But a lot of y'all are cooked. Now, what kind of bacon is that? Is okay. that the one I bought or the, the hold on, um, where my little packet? This yeah. is at Sam's Club. Oh, that's not okay. That's not the one I got from Walmart then. I think you did get you might have got No, no, this is that one the one that said no sugar? This one didn't have sugar in it. Yeah, that was Yeah. But you can get that expensive. at Walmart as well. Well, Sam's Walmart. Okay. 
Final product before going into the oven at 350 degrees. Okay. How long did we say? I don't know. So let me see what the clock says. Oh, 1223. 1223. All right, I'll let the people know. I need to clean up all of the oil. Mm -hmm. The oil. Mm, mm. Oh, I can't wait to show y'all the final product. Hold on. Right Let's see what we're working with. Oh, yeah. These two are kind of small, so I'm taking them out. This one I'm going to let fry a little more because it's the biggest. Just to make sure the egg is cooked all the way. Down. This is too hot to taste. Whoop, but it ain't too hot to look at. It took exactly one hour. And here they are. And those are the ones with the cheese. Here are the ones. Now remember the uh the hamburger uh was the 7327. Still got a lot of it down in there. Now I'll cut one open, but I'm not getting ready to eat it because I ate the other stuff. And I'll have these later. But just so you can see. Ooh, look at that juice, look at that juice. And there was our little cheese that was on the inside, but you had cheese going out and it is done. Bon appetit. You think they enjoyed this? I hope they did. If I they, really did. Make, I enjoyed making it. All right. And all if right. they enjoyed it, what should they do? Like, share, and subscribe. And you know what? Take a look at this video.